right, so to make dirt or sand, I got this recipe off my mom, so you know it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna start out with, we're gonna make this in two batches because it's 12 pounds of dirt. Well, technically nine pounds of dirt and we have a three pound gummy worm over there. Mr. Bull's gonna show you three pounds, the world's largest gummy worm. It's freaking, it's freaking gigantic. So we're gonna make, we're gonna put two things of cream cheese in, a tub and a half of Cool Whip and three things of pudding, mix that one up, lay it in, layer of cookies, and then do another batch and then put more cookies on top. We got three pounds of cookies. Oreo cookie, generic, because it doesn't really matter because they crunch them up anyways. And sometimes, honestly, I think generic Oreos are better. What do you think, Mr. Pool? I think they're better because they're softer. They're not like... Yeah, they don't rip your face. Me. Oh. Oh. For those of you that still don't get that reference, you need to watch the movie Face Off. Nicolas Cage and John Cleese. Cream cheese is delicious. And, um, my best friend ever bought me this mixer a couple years ago for Christmas. It's even Christmas killer. Go ahead and start getting that going. Whipped topping. This is my mom's secret recipe. Two and a. It's not secret to be sure. Two and a half. Two and a half cups per thing. So we're gonna go three in the first one. Three cups of meal. We're gonna start adding this pudding in. And I did verify with my mother that I don't actually make the pudding for the container. So that was my first thing was do I make it for the container or do I make it put it in dry. Less liquid. I'm supposed to um, according to mom you start to whip this in a little bit. Break this up. This is actually still kind of frozen a little bit. I know what you're saying. You're upset because Anderson don't get none. Right here, look at this. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's got the whole, got the whole, look at his nose. Anderson, look at this. Look at that. He's got it all over his face. Look at that. I gave him, gave him the container. So we went. Marty's back in Try to get up in there. This first batch. So we got the first batch in there. Everything is mixing together deliciously. Look at that. Increase the speed a little bit towards the end of the batch. Make sure it's not lumpy. There's nothing wrong. Nothing worse than lumpy dirt. Right? Look at that. You can taste that. You can just taste that. What's crazy, if you look over here, I got this huge pan. According to Reynolds, this thing holds 12 pounds. 
We're gonna find out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna layer this in. And we're gonna layer in cookies, and then we're gonna do another batch just like this, and then we're gonna layer in more cookies. So <laughs> Mom said put them in a ga gallon bag and pulverize them, so. Hey, you already got your entire thing of cool feet. Marty's over there trying to clean up what's left. Marty, I don't think there's anything left though. Now I'm pretty sure Anderson got the most of it. Look at that, Mr. Pool. Are you looking at it? Would you look at it? Look at that. Look at it. I'm gonna put the meat in my mouth. And I swallowed. That was from Orange, Virginia, the barbecue challenge that Mr. Pool and myself did a couple videos back. I'll throw a card up here on the screen because it was still probably some of the best brisket I've ever had. Here's the first package. Give or take. Another package in half. Down. I only want to do it this way because I get to use my meat tenderizing mallet. Because who hasn't ever wanted to just use a mallet? Ever just wanted to feed on some Oreos. This right here is what I like to call the Oreo water slide. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Fail. a little bit more chunky. There's the other half of our Oreo. So we got our cookie layer down. Partial cookie layer. Partial cookie layer down. I lost a few cookies. Thickened right up for me, Mr. Pool. Yeah, it looks thick. Three C's. Chocolate cookie. Should Chocolate cookie waterfall. Take two. More effective that time. And that is a lot of dirt dessert. <laughs> so the pan, the pan's definitely heavy. All right, got it on pounds and ounces. Now the world's Largest gummy worm. I'm not gonna open it up, put it in there till I'm ready to start, because otherwise it's gonna get as hard as a grizzly. You know what? But I want to put this on, and this actually pre-weighs at three pounds in just the plastic. This was a birthday gift. I'm finally gonna use it. So I got the dirt with the huge gummy worm. We're gonna set her on the scale. We're gonna hit the old hold ski button. 222.4 ounces. Mr.
Mr. Poole will give you a quick calculation of what 222.4 ounces is. 13.9. 13.9 pounds. So almost 14 pounds worth of dirt dessert and gummy worm. All right, Killer Clan, so as you saw in the previous clip there, Mr. Poole and myself we went ahead and put the world's biggest pan of dirt dessert together. And we got a three pound gummy worm to go in it too. Because what is dirt without a big worm? There it is. You saw in the previous clips it came in just under 14 pounds because I dumped some of the cookies on the floor but we're right about the 14 pound mark because this gummy worm is three pounds itself. I'm not sure how hard it's going to be to eat but I'm going to go ahead and try to work myself through it and do my best to remain cool during the whole thing. And the best way to stay cool is to go ahead and grab yourself one of these water bottles from thecoldestwater.com, jump over there, use my promo code below, get yourself a discount, kick me back some, so make sure you check out thecoldestwater.com. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get through this huge pan of dirt dessert. Like I said, the pan itself is a little over 11 pounds and then this worm is three pounds. The world's largest gummy worm. I've never had one that big, I'm not sure if it's, uh, Probably just going to eat it by section is probably the best thing to do. So without further ado, the 14 pound dirt dessert and gummy worm challenge. Three, two, one. Dirt and worm. Oh, wow, dude. That's going to be rough. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is hard to get through. That's a lot of gummy. Try some of my dessert. That's delicious. <laughs> that thing is hard to get through. I think Matt Stoney did one of these as like, fast as he could. That sounds awful. I can see why his time was slow. I think there's something like 3,000 calories in this thing. I'm not sure though. The dirt dessert. If you've never had this, you should make some. <laughs> this thing's like breaking your face off. Mm. 
Definitely share one of these with your friends. Don't forget you about them. I'm gonna buy them, yeah. It's a job we're mm. Wow. I feel like it keeps regenerating there so much. <coughs> There's some This is a huge what she said. Oh, I got me warm. Or cherry flavor. I've had this since my birthday back in March. And it's actually still really soft. About a half a pan through in about 12 minutes. <clears throat> At least I'm not sweating through this giant food series episode like I normally am because I want something savory this time or something sweet instead of savory. This thing was over three feet long. I got down to about ten inches. Okay. It's like thirty-four packs of gummy worms. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> 34 serving, I think there's usually like normal packs, I think they're like four serving. That's a lot of going warm. I'm just trying to get through the warm. It's probably like... That'd be a lot. <coughs> I got the dirt burps. <coughs> Anybody ask her how much that's the most amount of dirt you've ever eaten? I'll just say this will be it. Oh, big worm.
Need to make room. What you need to do is get them kitchen shears and cut it into bite sized pieces that you can just swallow. Oh, true. No chewing at all. Caught by the hand. I'm gonna get a knife and cut this thing up. This thing was definitely not ribbed for the pleasure. I'm down to my last two ribs. You know, I'm thinking they're ribbed for her pleasure, but if you flip it inside out, it's ribbed for your pleasure. We'll see. Like a brick. Thirty-two minutes. Woo! That was awful. But it was something different. The world's biggest tray of dirt dessert with a three-pound gummy worm. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Make sure you jump over to the coldest water. Check them out. Link below. T-shirt and decals. Information below. Any other great. Giant food ideas, drop them below. I'm going through them. Until next time, eat dessert and take it easy.